Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Tuesday Outlook and Setup, 21st of June. Can't believe it's almost the end of the month, and also that being said, almost the second half of the year. Guys, I hope you're all doing great. Today, we're going to have a quick look at GU, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when there's nothing to do. Uh, and I'm going to show you why I think there's nothing to do and why I think we need more evidence. But we first, before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to give away towards the end, I'm going to give away a discount code for the DWFX trading community. So if you're interested in joining the DWFX trading community, we'll be launching on the 25th of this month on Saturday. Uh, if you want to be first in, in line, first in the community and one of the first people to join and get access to my trading plan, my strategy, how I trade, how I analyze, well, you get a sense of it in the Tuesday Outlook and Setups, but if you want more detail, in-depth views and entry patterns and order flow ideas that I follow um, and subscribe to, then you need to get in and get in from the bottom because I have a lot planned. Uh, one of the things that I'm planning on doing is called mentoring sessions. It's different than a usual webinar, but that is being kept for the community. So I'm very excited about that. It's going to be great. And there's a lot of nice initiatives being um, opened up and great things going to happen. So I'm going to drop the link uh, a bit later. So let's just first get into GU and then we'll talk business again. So first of all, we're reacting off of this area of imbalance that we can see over here. And we see price pushing down lower, breaking this low. So we can either assume that this is a structure break for price to go eventually go lower or to see price eventually um only sweep this low and then go higher but we don't know that yet we'll only get that once we have a confirmed break of potentially this high or even this high if we get that break and then continuation higher then definitely we can see price reaching new highs or just retrace deeper into this the pullback that we've had so far but we push down we are now reacting off of this area of imbalance we can see price traded into it, reacted and started pushing down. We just missed this quick low. Ultimately, we are in a 50% equilibrium state. So if we take this swing leg towards the downside from this high to this low, looking at the swing point from this high, as we've said, this high to this low, we can see that we're right at the 50% not in premium we're not in a discount we're basically in the middle of nowhere right now on the daily so can the daily go up can the daily go down yes it can go up it can go down it can go either way so we can see price going up to reach new highs break above the previous day high and ultimately reach maybe for a deeper area of liquidity let's say maybe this order block or the previous highs this high or we could see be seeing price go lower sweeping these lows and ultimately this low towards the downside i would expect price to make a because kind of we pulled back into the premium and now we reacted back into the discount traded in, into the discount and now we're back into the equilibrium so price is, is stalling it's not giving us any clean or clear direction or intent for that matter on where we could expect price to be going to. If then look at the same thing, but let's just drop down to the one hour. We can see yesterday price opened. Let's just turn the Asian session off. Yesterday price opened, well, over the weekend. Monday's price action was just this chop. And then today's price action so far, it's just this real choppiness price, just moving, just moving sideways, kind of training, but not really, really tightly consolidated. So it's, it's nothing, it's nothing we can do right now. Um, no high probability setups. If we just zoom out and just look at price action currently, we're seeing price sweeping lows and then pushing higher, but then all of this. It's not sweeping any lows, it's just generating liquidity. So this could be a clue that price could run below these lows and go lower. 
But then we also have this, but price is already starting to tap into some of this. Well, not really, we're getting close there. So I'm just gonna keep this marked on there. Remove this for a bit. Now let's just quickly look at the agent sessions. And we can see the new agent session is really not giving us much detail. But on the one hour, obviously we don't see much, but we have the high, we have the lows. We could potentially see a run below the lows, sweep the lows of some of these liquidity areas, and then trade higher. I do like this candle area over here. I'm going to see if we can refine it a bit on the lower time frames. And then to see price potentially go higher, um, ultimately reaching for the liquidity about these areas. So I'm, I'm in two minds. I, I can't, at this point, can't make up my mind if I'm bullish or bearish, just because on the daily, I'm not sure we can go up and we can, can go down, or we can just end up as a consolidation day. So there's no real clean, clear clarity for me on where we're going. So everything is a bit bit of a gamble, I would say. Not gamble, but just but risky. So we have previous day high there as well. We can just mark that out and just be aware of the previous daily high. Turn off the agent session again. So yeah, for now, I would think I would wait at least for London Open. Wouldn't look at Frankfurt Open. Wait for London Open to see if we maybe get a push into this area. And then if we get into this area, we would want to see then a entry pattern happening over here, potentially giving us a confirmation trade to take price towards the upside. The first safest target is always the Asian high. Let's jump to the 15 minute and let's see what's happening there. So you can refine this area, I'll probably just refine into this candle. We can note some of the balance left in there, really small bit. I'm just going to refine and remove, just make that the liquidity trend line. So currently this is the idea that I'm sitting with. <coughs> Sorry about that. So if you can see price trading below the lows, Asian lows into this uh, buy area, and then we could potentially see a buy or anywhere below the Asian low. If we see price giving a reversal, giving an entry pattern, on the lower time frames, aligning the one minute with the higher time frame structure, then potentially we could see a trade set up forming for us to go towards the upside. But more than that, prices may say, I hope you can agree with me that there's not a lot happening and not a lot for us to trade at this point in time. Another thing to note is that Asian high created these nice, almost relative equal highs. So this would be my 15 minute buy side liquidity. So if we get a sweep on the sell side liquidity, which could be these lows, or even this low, it could even go deeper, go higher because we have on the 15 minute this area as well. So even if we sweep below these lows and go high, um, grab the sell side liquidity, then I would want to see price reach back up towards the buy side liquidity. So this is kind of the trade that I'm framing. So we're kind of working in this region, this vicinity, it's about a hundred pip, hundred pips, which you, which we could be, pl be playing around in. We could also just see a short sweep of the low and then a continuation up higher. That's also possible. And then we just kind of look for the continuations. And ultimately I would want to see price go for the previous daily high. That would then mean prices, um, choosing a side. So it's not the previous daily high, let's just rather use this one. It's a previous daily high. Um, and then it would just kind of mean the price is choosing a direction, choosing a bias, because currently it's not doing anything. If we just go back to the 15 minute. So that would be the upside target for me, these highs for the buy side ultimately to move higher. But if we were to move lower, breaking below these lows, because this can now be confusing as well, because what could also happen is we could see price break below. It could be a st structure break 
and then um, price just starts to rally towards the upside. Sorry, towards the downside. Breaking lower and then making a corrective move. And then, so two things that we need to note and look out for is how is price moving down? How is price moving back up? And what is the reaction around this area? Do we see a reaction? So potentially, is price giving a reaction around this area um, for further sales or is it just kind of break through? So there's a few things we need to be mindful of and wary of. Um, another thing is kind of one of my rules is I first want to see the opposite side liquidity taken out before going lower. Not really, see, maybe that could be a sweep of this high, maybe. But I think ideally I would, in a perfect world, would have wanted to see this before going lower and sweep of low before going higher. It's kind of just one of the rules for me. Unless if I don't see anything like that, then obviously there's not, not much to do. So just pointing out how I'm currently viewing it and that it's, it's, the, it's in a difficult spot. We're not seeing clean or clear price action, um, clear moves. So it might be a bit difficult to trade today, but it's fine. If we sit on our hands, the good opportunities will come. No trading is also a good trading day. Can I maybe have a quick look at pound yen? It's been a long time since I've been here. So just looking at what we've been doing. So we traded below above this high, started trading high lower. We reacted off of this <coughs> area of demand and seeing price push higher. We made this little sweep grab on liquidity into that area. Now pushing higher. We have this area of imbalance price to tap into it. So I would think that if we stayed below this high, this last high, we could be seeing price go lower. I would expect that this imbalance could be a liquidity objective as well. So perhaps maybe a little move up and then move lower. Or we could take out this high and trade further up towards the upside, something like that. So two areas to note, if we look at the one hour, then it starts to get messy and then I start to lose my way, uh, really struggling with GJ on the one hour. I know some traders that's very good with GJ. You know who you are if you're listening, um, but I often still get it wrong with GJ. It's not my favorite. Uh, a lot of wicks that confuses me. So in general, I would suggest that uh, we look at GU and see what's happening here. And maybe we could just have a look at Aussie dollar. And after that, I'll give you the discount code and then, yeah. So Aussie dollar on the daily. Wow. It's terrible. It's really not doing much. Okay, so we had a sweep of this high. We traded into the imbalance. So we created this high over there, started trading lower. Again, a reaction off of this imbalance. <clears throat> it seems like we're going lower. It looks like the structure is pushing lower. We're trading off of this imbalance, pushing lower. Let's go just to the one hour. If we dissect this a bit, reacting off of this area. So probably the best confirmation entry would confirmation if we get a close blow and then a pullback continuation lower, something like that. But as you guys know, AU is not the one that I'm focused on. So we'll be focusing on GU. Guys, that's it for technical analysis for today. So the discount code is DW special 10. If you want to get in and get make use of the weekend launch special, which will give you 10% discount, use the code DW special 10. It will only be valid until the 29th of June. So from the 25th to the 29th, it will be valid and you will get that 10% discount. 
I'm excited. Hope you hope to see you in there and you'll be seeing a morning analysis each morning. Some days I'm on, well, usually Thursdays I'm on daycare duty. Then I have to take my son early morning to the daycare. Um, so then sometimes the morning analysis will be very early or it might only be an afternoon review. But ultimately you get my undivided attention and lots and lots and lots more. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, remember this code, write it down, make use of it if you're interested. If not, understand it completely. And then you have, must have a great day. Um, I'm a bit sick. I probably You can probably hear from my voice. So I'm taking it easy. I'm not going to burn myself out and just relax and get healthy again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.